Good afternoon, this is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, February the 22nd. It's Year 1, Epiphany 7, and Week 7 of the Psalm Cycle. The scriptures for this service, Psalms 124, 125, and 126, and Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 to 20. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Those who put their trust in Yahweh cannot be shaken. Alleluia. Psalms 124, 125, and 126. If you had not been on our side, this is Israel's song. If you had not been on our side when they rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us, over our head would have swept the raging waters. Blessed are you who do not give us a prey to their teeth. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed, the snare has been broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in your name, who made heaven and earth. Those who put their trust in you are like Mount Zion, that cannot be shaken, that stands forever. Jerusalem, the mountains surround her, and so you surround your people, both now and forever. For the scepter of the wicked shall not rest over the land of the just, for fear that the hands of the just should turn to evil. Do good to those who are good, to the upright of heart, but the crooked and those who do evil drive them away. When you delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and on our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels you have worked for them! What marvels you worked for us! Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they will reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> Alleluia. Those who put their trust in you cannot be shaken. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, beginning at verse 13. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket but on the lampstand, so that it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly, I tell you, until the heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven, but whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, and your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. And create in us clean hearts, O God, 
sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. You are a God of wonder, Most High, as you call us into being and set us free in your loving plan. Help us to grow to understand the meaning of our freedom, so that we may discern wisely and respect the gift of freedom in all our sisters and brothers. And grant this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all peace and joy in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.